Oh, no, he's just going to walk right up. Just going to walk right up indeed. He goes in for the second time. Assault and battery goes down, and Zion Spartan won't make it out of this without Flash. First blood for Crumbs. Yeah, great. Hard on this. At the bottom, he was just forced to kind of soak up experience with Jinte, go back into his jungle. He's only been throwing out pillars. We'll have to see up this top lane. We got the gank finally going on. They get close enough in the bush. Zion Spartan throws down the ignite. They get out of the turret range. Can Kiwi can get there fast enough? The rappel comes in. He goes back down to the turret. It's going to go to his spider first before he hits the ground, and he gets hurt this uh, poke comp for GG. You. And it looks like they know not much aggression is coming up here. They're going to go quite strong and add the percentage damage from Pie. If you can get those knocks on, oh, one more attack could do it, and they're not going to be able to reach a kill coming into Crumbs. They're getting a bit too aggressive here. A great threat in from Pie. Can they finish the execution from Kiwi Kid? A Kathy and Surprise could hit, though. It's so close. I'm going to take it down really quickly. No answer here from GTU. The pillar kind of kept themselves out of that one. If they went to go around Assault and Battery right onto Jinte, they focus the AP mid. They take him down quite quick as well. That kill going to Cutie Pie. The repel onto Nintendo. Can they get the chase down? It's going to be the speed from Contaminate. It looks like they'll be safe here. A little bit more damage. Lane, that true shot barrage kind of just skimming the wings of Kale. They get the good slowdown. This is the catch they can use. Where's the Contaminate for Trundle to catch up? Can they get there? There it is. The speed is there, but so is the heal from Kale. Jace coming in from the side, trying to be all dead. Air. Will he be able to? The mana bars are quite low for those front damage dealers, but they're going to get everybody on here in the mid lane, just chunking down this turret. This is an inhibitor turret. That is not worth it. They almost lost it. Kiwi Kids destroying the turret up top, so they get 300. Watch their inhibitor go down, unfortunately. Good dodges coming out from Dignitas. They are dodging all poke that could happen. It's on to Nintendo, the crescendo for the shield. I'll take that. <laughs> PewDiePie troll? Never. Never. Ever. Here we go. Engagement, Kobe. They're going on the fight. The turret's the focus right now. Scar taking a bit of damage. He uses intervention on the offensive, but just to stand there and take it. Crumbs going in with Assault and Battery, and it looks like they're going to be able to wipe out the team here. 6-3 to three may be the final score. If anybody else comes off the fountain and looks day come through <laughs> in the next few minutes. We'll have to see. Baron is, however, ticking away on Dignitas as they try to pressure this last fight. Mid ones go down as well. They want to bring down the house on this one. And it looks like Nintendo is going to be the focus for the first Vault Breaker. He gets out with a shield. The crescendo on a mash me. Locked up and cleansed. That's the crowd control we were talking about earlier. Jinte not <laughs> finding the same result of cleanse, but he will get to explode onto Nexus Turrets going down. The true shot barrage on the last attempt to save it, Kobe, but it's not going to be enough. Dignitas stops the bleeding of 0 and 3 and finds himself a win here. They're going to be tied up at 10 and 3, actually 